Hello, movie fans. We're the movie family. Uh, we're going to review the first two episodes of the new Disney Plus show, The Mandalorian, um, and give you our thoughts about uh, if we think it's a good show that you should watch or not, if it's worth getting Disney Plus for. Um, and then we'll talk about the spoiler part of it in the second half, where we'll um, give you a warning beforehand um, in terms of what we think is the, the cool th- coolest things and talk really about... Uh, all the things about the t- first two episodes of The Mandalorian. Uh, so <clears throat> so if you haven't been here before, we uh, do movie reviews, um, uh, reactions to different uh, trailers sometimes, and we do some movie games as well. Uh, so if you happen to like what we do, please uh, think about uh, hitting the Smash subscribe. that like button. <laughs> right. Subscribe, like, share with your friends. Uh, we'd love to have more people watch and join our family. Uh, so, uh, we're the movie family. I'm TJ. I'm Ryan. I'm Rachel. I'm Tara. I'm Tommy. <laughs> <laughs> and that's us. Oh, and then we have Romeo, who's the dog, but he's usually not in these videos and doesn't have a lot to say. Um, <laughs> so, the, uh, so the Mandalorian is the new Disney Plus show. It, uh, was kind of their thing on the to, to get people to get Disney Plus on launch day, which was a few days ago on November the 12th. Um, and it's, uh, it's really based on the, um, a character that we don't really know the name of yet, just called the Mandalorian. Um, it's all set in the time period five years after uh, the, um, the return of the Jedi. Um, so it's got that more of that aesthetic to it. Um, and it's, it's really about this guy's, this Mandalorian's adventure. Um, and so, you know, it's, it's, it's set up to be, uh, canon. It's definitely going to be part of the whole canon of the Star Wars universe. Um, but we don't really know a whole lot about it, uh, which is kind of the cool part in my mind. But anyways, um, so thoughts about, do you guys think it's worth it? Do you like it? I mean, do you like the show? Do you think it's, uh, what do you like most about it? Um, well, for me, the first episode was, I'm not it super into it until, <laughs> till the end. Yeah. <laughs> and there's an introduction of a character, which again, we'll talk about in the spoiler part. Yeah. So that character is what made me want to keep watching. Keep watching. Same. I think it's interesting once you watch, the first one is not boring. It's just introductory. And right. after that, you, you like the characters more. And most of the stuff they do is pretty interesting. And you don't have to understand a whole lot of Star Wars to get it, as long as you... Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's set in the Star Wars universe. You know Star Wars. Yeah, it's set but in the Star Wars universe. You don't need to be but... a Star Wars mega fan to... True. Well, to notice all the Easter eggs and everything you do. But, but otherwise... You just watch. You like yeah. the characters. True. What do you think, Brian? It's fun. I like Mandalorians. Boba Fett's cool. This is a cool Mandalorian. Okay. <laughs> Tommy, your thoughts? Uh, I loved it right off the start. I think, like, like from the first, like, 30 seconds, I was just like, this show is great. Like, it, just the look of it and the music is really good, too, and just everything's okay. just really well done. It's it's enjoyable and fun to watch. Yeah, I think, I, I, I agree. I mean, it's, it's like a space western. I mean, that vibe... It's got the, uh, I really, I liked it. I liked the character. The, the, the first episode, I really enjoyed the character. There was, the music was good for the first half. The second half is a little eh. But it, again, the, basically in general, I totally think it's, it really picks up the vibe of the original movies. Um, and uh, the looks like there's real, you know, like real effects and um, like, characters that they're trying to like build characters and and to your point you said like the first episode was you know you don't it was okay because you don't really know any of these characters i think they're gonna build it because this is clearly planned to be like you know multiple episodes and then another season so they've got more time to really get into characters um when they don't you know unlike a regular movie how many episodes are in season one i've heard there's six so it's not very many 
But then, yeah, yeah, I think they're probably going for more like a Stranger Things kind of where there's, you know, six, eight episodes kind of thing that, you know, that, that, that per season. Um, but, you know, so what they've done so far, and again, we'll talk about it, spoilers, I think they've, they've added some stuff that could definitely affect the rest of the universe. So that's pretty cool. Are they all available to watch now? No, so they don't do it like Netflix. Disney Plus is going to do... You cannot binge it. The first, right, you can't binge it. So the it's first, cool. the, the first episode, the first two episodes are out now. Because the first one launched on the launch day on Tuesday uh, of the whole service. And then the second episode was to, it was uh, on Friday night. And so they are going to do it every Friday night going forward, trying to keep, again, people interested in it. Instead of the Netflix model, which is just here's all the episodes that you can watch them all. So it's a different. It, it'll we'll see if that works well. Some other streaming services have tried it. And I'm not sure. The jury's out. So, so any other thoughts before we jump into the spoiler part of it? Yeah. All right. So uh, recommendations then to people. It it seems pretty much be kid friendly. It's PG thirteen. Um, that's listed as that way. It is a lot of shooting and violence and things like that, but not like ultra gory or anything. Um, just more like action, um, kind of stuff. And, um, I don't think there's really been, there's been like one, you said vaporized. Yeah. And I don't think there's been any swearing in there. If there is, it's like, a. I don't think there's been, there's not a ton of talking either. That's true. I've spoken. Yeah. So it's, um. So yeah, so I think you know again, it's it's like a Star Wars movie where it's kid friendly. If they like Star Wars, if you like Star Wars at all, I think this is a good good uh, show to watch. And also, there's a free trial going on right now, so you could potentially be able to see at least the first couple of episodes and determine after Disney Plus. Yeah, she and then um, and then first, yeah, we're we're not sponsored. Um, <laughs> there's a uh, you know there's a free trial, so you could watch it, see it if you like those first two episodes, and then decide if it's worth your i think it's 6.99 a month to, to purchase or you can bundle it with other stuff um so anyways we recommend you going to see it or yeah, going to get the get disney plus and watching it um if you're especially if you're a star wars fan all uh, right now if you have seen it we're going to break into the spoilers discussion because there's lots of little things to talk about and uh, so if you haven't seen it yet go see it and then come back but otherwise so turn it off now otherwise stick with us and then we'll talk about the spoiler stuff and you can see if we've missed anything that we think is super cool. Um, so but go to this timestamp so you can hear my horribly bad joke of the day. Oh yeah, so yeah, I'll put good. the timestamp up there we so you can hear bad joke time. of the day at the end. <laughs> All right. So, spoilers. What did you guys like best about it? Talk about spoilers. Oh my gosh, little Yoda baby creature is adorable. <laughs> oh, yes. Quite cute. Have you seen with him? His ears move and he makes noises. Right. He uses a force. Obviously, a high med chlorine count. He has his floating crib. Yeah, he's a pra- <laughs> it's a practical effect, and that that's the the creature that's at the very weird. end of the um, the first episode, which I think is a good twist. Uh, you know that that it's a fifty year old the bounty that is going after the person supposed to be fifty, um, the subject supposed to be fifty, and they go through that whole fight and battle, which was super cool too. I thought um, where they're battling all the other I don't know are they they're not bounty hunters they're I think. I- the scavengers. Him? Yeah, something. I think there's something like whoever's that. holding his ho- the the baby Yoda hostage. Um, it's not a baby Yoda, but we don't. There's no actual technical name. There's no name. species or home planet. Yeah. There's yeah. really no knowledge there's, about it. There is nothing in canon about it. So baby Yoda creature, but we're just gonna call him baby Yoda. Yeah, because um, he's super cute. And at the second episode, again, if you haven't seen the second episode, you should stop watching. But if you've seen the second episode, this is about first and second episode. He's got the Force. And you clearly, he does a little forcey thing and lifts up the animal and <laughs> is pretty thing. awesome. Um, I didn't think they were going to go there either. I thought I was surprised by the, the him being baby a little baby creature in the beginning um, and super cute. Um, and surprised at, uh, at him having the force so quickly. Because I thought that would have been like a reveal at the end of the season that was like, oh, he's, you know, this, this character's actually got the force. So, but I thought that was really cool. I also enjoyed like the just the Western feel of it and like how this Mandalorian is supposedly not Boba Fett. Um, and so you're and they, they've done some things to make it pretty clear that he's not. 
but he's still supposed to be as cool as Boba Fett. Yeah, and, they they do some nice callbacks to the, like you know the 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 movies, but they don't they don't lean in too hard on it like some of the earlier Rise of Skywalker trailers. They just have some you know references and nods like the parsecs and Carbonite. Life day. Yeah, oh, but yeah. Life Day, like, that's that a little tiny cool. thing thrown in there. That was a funny good. Easter egg, yeah. That's an Easter egg, yeah. Life Day, they, they mention um, one of the characters in the very beginning of uh, the first episode mentions that he wants to be back home for Life Day, and then the blue creature, whatever he captures, and then, but Life Day is the referenced, essentially, kind of like Christmas holiday <laughs> from the holiday Star Wars special. Holiday special. Yeah, back, you know, that really <laughs> horrible screen. holiday By special. By the way, that totally worth watching on YouTube. It's yes. hilarious. Yeah, it is it's really so worth watching. amazing to watch. If you ever yeah. have an hour of This holiday just episode, just Star Wars, and it's like yes. really bad quality, yeah. but you should watch it because it's really funny. <laughs> it's amazing. Um, and they have references now, and apparently have made Life Day canon in the um, oh, Star Wars universe. Is that a good thing? Yeah, I think so. Just in general. You don't have to make the <laughs> holiday special can. They just have to make the life days can. Yeah. yeah, so they had that that reference. A lot of other creatures that you've seen, like, you know, from other from the other movies. The Jaw was. Yeah, Jaw was in the yeah. second that, one. That was great, too. That was another thing that I, I thought was really cool was the whole sand crawler like, fight thing. Like, you finally got to see something cool actually happen on a sand crawler. Because they're such, like, like big things, but they don't do anything. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And it's, it's like, a high-stakes fight where he's, like, climbing on the sides. And it, it feels like this cool battle. It's this cool yeah. set piece. Yeah. And that's another yeah. thing that I kept thinking throughout, like, watching the show. is like, how cool would it be to be on the set of this show? Like, to be, like, filming this show and right. just, like, looking at, like, all this Star Wars stuff right out in front of you. Like, it would, it would be crazy. And they built that giant it's so spaceship. Perfect. Yeah, they, the, the sand crawler. They probably did. It. I don't well, think they. They didn't even build the sand crawler. Yeah, they built the sand crawler. But should there be parts? They built parts of it. A lot of it looks yeah. practical. Like, he's least definitely. Those models. He's I'm not. Sure yeah. His ship. Yeah, his ship. I think. Ship, is I, really think cool. I think. I think they, they, they talk about things. how they use some miniatures. Like we saw something about how they would like film each individual right. shot for the space scenes of it moving to really capture the. Well, the originals, yeah. No, no, this one. The, this one? Yeah, this one they use one miniatures. Yeah, I think so. They use miniatures like, and they just basically move it along the, a rig the, the and then just film the whole thing. I can't tell. I, just, yeah. I thought it was Yeah, CGI. it's blended so well. They just do it. So Another oh, thing wow. with the, the end credits, they always have the concept art for the episode, which is oh, really cool, cool how they do that. Oh, yeah, it looks really neat. Yeah. Also, how they built the real life uh, carbonite freezer thing. No, they probably put, threw some people in there too when they made it. <laughs> yeah. I don't know that they didn't do that. <laughs> they could have done that, they but the fact that they're using the, carbonite someone freezing. Someone talked about that holiday special. Yeah. They were like, "No, we don't talk about that." And they but, show them in there. But the that's <laughs> I would do that. Um, yeah. yeah, but they have the at least they show that the Mandalorian is using carbonite freezing as a way to to trans you know to transport bounties, which was the first at least according to the movies is the first time they ever did that was with Han Solo. So that and they're basically making this a thing right that now apparently like yeah. the mandalorians maybe others but that's how they now transport their bounty transport their bounties because it's easier and have you know he had like the rack of all these bounties that he'd gotten and then and he had like a his own personal ship carbonite machine somehow which is super cool yeah so, yeah i like that ref like that, that callback was super cool um what else um but his gun his gun's cool because oh, that's a yeah, callback to the. Yeah. Is that the holiday? That's the holiday special. When, the holiday when they special? watch the little cartoon and then you see Boba Fett for the first time, <gasps> well, that's the same gun You're that they right. use. In the show. Right. I thought you already knew that. I yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's so they they've got it in the cartoon there in the holiday special again. You should watch it, and the, the Boba Fett the first time you see him, and then that's the same gun that this Mandalorian has, um, even though the actual Boba Fett doesn't have it in movies. So again, some some neat little Easter egg callbacks, um, you know, and 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 I did like the the music with it. it I think it was kind of very different and more Western. <coughs> Bless you. Yeah, it was more Western, and it was it very. Uh, it, 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 I think the main Mando theme is like. I'll say. It seems a little bit more rocky ish, which I don't like as quite as much, <laughs> but. Uh, I, feel like, I didn't like it. As much. I feel like consistently with well with the last two episodes. The music has been really good in the first half of the episode, and then in the second half, it goes like in a totally different direction. I feel like that's and when I it gets like rocky. That that's what I'm saying. No, it's rocky in like the first half, and I like that more than in the second mm-hmm. half, where wow. it's more like it's more orchestral, and I feel like it's just such like a diversion from their rock sort of theme in the beginning. 
and it's it's strange. Mm-hmm. Okay, we're clearly hearing it differently, or just have completely opposite opinions. Right. Okay. Yeah. I still think it's good. Um. Yeah, I'm trying to think what else. So it seems cool the whole story then, as far as him as being a a Mandalorian that's has a past where his parents have clearly been killed back in the Clone Wars, um, and mm-hmm. now he's um trying to survive and the you know and then they've got he's got this kind of crappy armor but now he's getting it upgraded to the beskar metal mm-hmm. and so he's got the cool beskar helmet with silver and then now he's got the one app the, the one um pauldron pauldron yep that they made um and then it, clearly you're going to get more and more as he kind of gets better it's just like a beat up and then the last one right they got yeah. like half ripped off right so maybe you'll get more Maybe that's what it'll get next as a chest plate. It's almost like building your character in a video game when you can like add things to your character. So I guess like it you is get, kinda get good better cause... armor and like cooler looks and stuff. I think that's what they'll do throughout That'd the show. That'd be cool because when he had flashbacks when like the person forged the original piece. So it'd be interesting if they built the character as you built your character, you know? Like they build up the character's story and stuff to you learn more right. of their past yeah, as you cool continue to upgrade your character. Yeah, I don't think so. And, and they talked about the signet, which is like, I guess it's his family crest symbol. Is, mm-hmm. And so he doesn't know it, but eventually maybe he'll find out and maybe there'll be a connection. I'm sure there'll be a connection to something else. But then, you know, that could see that being like a big reveal of like, here's his signet and gets it on, you know, his armor. Um and yeah, I mean, I think they're building it to like really be a cool world, all within the Star Wars world, but clearly not necessarily um, connected to like the Skywalker stuff and all that. You know, that seems yeah. to probably be a world apart of you know, that's going on someplace else. This is just a small story about this Mandalorian. Um, yeah, I, don't know, I like that part. Yeah, they do, they do good with making their series not too bound to the original by putting them in the in-between spots. Like Rogue One, they put that in between those, the gap, and then they put this in between the gap between Re- Return of the Jedi and uh, Force Awakens. So they just do that so it's not in the middle so much. And did, uh, so he's still got the little baby Yoda um, with the Force powers. Now he's on the ship. Um, with the help of the Ugnaught, um, that kept saying that I've spoken, which was kind of a cool little funny thing. Um, do you think, make quick, quick predictions as we'll do another, you know, the next episode next week, but what, what do you think? Does he, he doesn't turn the baby Yoda in, right? No. I mean, he can't do that. He won't. I mean, the Bounty Hunter's Guild thing was yeah. Bounty Hunter's Guild, part of a book series. But then how does he do it then? I don't know. Like, how's he going to be able to keep the, like, he's going to say, you can't just be like, uh, here's the, an, another baby Yoda another. that looks like this one that I killed. I don't know how that this is do. turning in. I mean, does he turn against the entire guild? Does he, like, I mean, I don't think he knows what the force is. Like, I, I got a sense that he had no sense of really what I mean, you know, a lot of people was. in the universe knew, like, what the Force really was. Or if they'd even heard about it, they didn't believe in it. Right, yeah. So I think, like, he saw him do something, but he doesn't really know what that means. But clearly, I think he likes the little creature, and now he knows the creature's got some magic. So I'm, I'm guessing Space he wouldn't turn magic. him in. But it's interesting, because I don't really know where, they could, where they're going to go with this. Obviously, Sports. he's going to be its protector, but then why? How is it, where's it going to go from there? It's... A baby, so or a child, so what do you do with it? Oh, any ideas? No, no ideas. Hey, if interested him, in watching if Mandalorian armor? Ooh, a little baby turn him into oh, a Mandalorian. Be yeah. That would be pretty <laughs> awesome. Like Give him the full armor and everything, except the blaster that, and stuff. Except that, like, he'd have to have like little metal ears. <laughs> yeah, that would be even better. <laughs> ears. So they kind of look like horns, but they're like <laughs> ears coming off oh, the side. Yeah. That's these. You have a fire gun. And he's like, no, no, no. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. Well, that would be a good spin-off version of <laughs> the <laughs> show. Yeah. And I like it. All right. Well, tell us what you think about the show. Yes, it's past. Uh, what did you think about Baby Yoda Creature? Yes. Did you like Baby Yoda Creature? Uh, again, you know, well, share in the comments below. Um, you can uh, also let us know if you decided to go watch it and then come back and see the end of this. Um, if you've got other things that you think are really cool about it, are you going to continue to watch the show? 
we are clearly going to continue to watch the show. At least I'm going to force my family to watch it. So um, we'll be back and do another uh, quick review and kind of spoiler review like this for the third episode next week. So uh, make sure to come back and again, hit like and subscribe if you uh, if you did like this. And uh, and now it's time for Ryan's bad joke of the day. Yeah, yeah, I did this. How does a Jedi open a PDF file? I don't know. How does he open a PDF file? They use Adobe One Kenobi. Oh wow! Theme that is, that is, that is, so, that is both a, a a nerdy and and a dad joke. And bad joke. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and a dad joke. Horrible. All right, well, that was Ryan's bad joke of the day. They don't All call right, it so, bad for you know reason. You know. <laughs> So, so please join us next time. Join our family next time for the next, uh, for our next episode. Thanks. Bye.